Hello guys, this is Jasa Mustafa and welcome back to the Autodesk 3ds Max 2018 course. Okay guys, after having an introduction and a good idea about the 3ds Max user interface, the viewport and the layout, we can have an idea about the navigation tools which will be used in the viewport in order to orbit the viewport, zoom in, zoom out, these options while working in 3ds Max. First, we will be introduced to the maximize viewport toggle which is Alt and W. While you are activating one of your viewport quadrants, maybe the left one, once you click on maximize it will pop up or enlarge this quadrant. The second tool is the orbit where you can click alt and the middle mouse in the viewport and it will orbit your project around the grid intersection 00, zero if you are not selecting any other object if you are selecting one of the objects in the viewport it will be orbiting around that one you can click and hold on the orbit since we have this small triangle at the corner of the tool that means it has an option or has more than one option you have a selection set you can just select one of these options and start orbiting your viewport as per these tools <coughs> orbit selected is around the selected object orbit it's only orbiting your viewport around the zero zero you have the third option it's the orbit sub object and the latest one is orbit point of insert the next tool is the ban the middle mouse in the viewport so you can pan your viewport and view your object from other parts you can click hold and drag you have only the band so you can either select it from here or you can just click the band or the middle mouse in the viewport so it's banned zoom region it will help you to draw a region in the viewport so it will zoom into that region and you have the field of view as well so you can just click hold and drag in order to zoom in and zoom out in the view for the zoom zoom all zoom selected or zoom extends and zoom extends all you have the four viewport have the ability to zoom in and out in one of the quadrants of the viewport or you can have the ability to zoom all in order to zoom in and out in all the viewports that you are working on the second tool is a little bit similar the zoom extends zoom extends will help you if it's selected the green box it will zoom extends the viewport to this object in the middle of your viewport if you click on that one it will bring your object your selected object in the center of the viewport that you are working on if you click hold and drag you have two options the green box and the white box the white box is zoom extend it will not consider the selection you just select Zoom extends the white one, it will zoom extend and it will bring the whole project in the center of the quadrant that you are working on. The latest tool is the zoom extends all, if it's a green, zoom extends all in all the viewports will bring the selected object to the center of your project. And the latest tool is the zoom extends all, it will bring the whole project in the all viewports quadrants into the center or the middle of your view or your screen so these are the navigation tools you have to be familiar with and use it frequently so you can be faster in 3ds Mac while working on your projects 